What's up everybody? Welcome back to another fantastic episode of Three Pound Fishing. Midday, absolutely a stunner of a day. Crisp, no humidity, a little overcasty as you can see. Uh, but we're absolutely midday and we're gonna see what these crappie are doing. Now I had a guide trip this morning, just to kind of give you some back, background. And bite was tough, ain't gonna lie, bite was tough. Uh, we still got ours in a boat a little bit, but not as many as you'd like to see. So what I'm gonna do is go into piles that I haven't been in a while, seeing we've got some fish there, and preparing for tomorrow's guide trips. We got two guide trips tomorrow, back to back. And so in preparation of that, we're gonna try to find some additional spots that are loaded down with crappie. That's the plan. So stick with me, I appreciate you. We'll go through everything I'm using, what we're doing tactic wise. Baits have changed, I can tell you that right now. We'll go through that and why, but uh, appreciate you guys. Please share the video, let's do this. Ooh, look at that right there, guys. Look at that. This is a spot I have not gone to in a while and we are loaded down. So, might have an answer for tomorrow morning. First group right off the bat. So, we'll see. First drop in there, let's see what we got. Yep, he hit it. That's a good sign, very good sign. Good fish, guys. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, that is a slab. Awesome fish. All right, guys, fantastic start. We're gonna keep that one for pictures, but that's an awesome fish right there. The uh, So what's really changed? We've got somewhat of a finicky bite. When we have a finicky bite, what I like to do is I like to go to brighter colors. Um, so I'm gonna talk briefly about hair jigs, then I'm gonna talk about paddle tails real quick. Bright colors, have a large selection of them uh, on your boat. I definitely switch off to some vibrant, more popping colors, making sure they see it. Sometimes I struggle when, when it's a uh, finicky bite, I don't feel like they can see it. So anything I can do to make sure it draws attention to them, I think helps. Currently what I'm using today is the winter crappie jig. That's in that, that big old mega, let's go fishing 45 for $49 deal. That guy's a winner right there. It's also available on 116. But also I wanna emphasize another thing is we have been absolutely wearing them out with the three pound fishing paddle tails. So check those out. Uh, Blue Monkey's been doing fantastic. The Cajun Crazy's been doing fantastic. But at the end of the day, I think you do need a bait with, with action when the bite gets a little finickier. Now typically a post-spawn fish is not finicky. For some reason, um, we're getting a little bit of a finicky bite. Uh, obviously minnows are an option, but to be honest with you, we've tried minnows and it doesn't seem to add to the bite. Um, so right now we're continuing on with, uh, with hair jigs and paddle tails and it, it definitely getting fish in the boat, but it's just interesting when you're dealing with a change. Um, and hopefully that change will, that change, another change will occur and we'll get more, more fish in the, uh, we'll get more active fish here shortly, but regardless, we're using the hammer 10 sniping braid and the winter crappie jig just put that slap the boat. Now right, guys, don't forget. I also tell you this, the bait pop, it's been doing fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and put some bait pop on the winter crappie jig. This is their new black and blue, which looks fantastic. And we're going to sprinkle that all around. And that's going to enhance my sonar feedback, but it's also going to get me that scent all the way down to the fish. And so that's our focus right now. Good fish. Bam, right there, guys. Great fish, right off that pile right there. Nice and stacked, nice and tight. I like that, when they're tight, they seem to be way more aggressive 
and uh, this guy was for sure. Great, great fish. Now definitely having to play them quite a bit today. Um, like I said, it's been a tougher bite and I can always tell if you have to play them a lot, that means it's a tougher bite. So I'm doing the stair step approach. I've talked about it in another video. I'll link it above if you guys want to check it out. But it's all about moving upward with different thrusts. And I call that the stair step approach because stair step, always moving upwards. You're just adjusting the speed in which you're doing it. So you might thrust, you might stop, you might thrust, you might stop. Um, playing the fish and how that fish is acting. But never going back down. Mmm. Another dandy. Nice little eater on this one. Right there, guys. Right there. All right, so we're going to switch up to the king's tail real quick. I'm going to load it up. I do want you guys to remember that those Let's Go Fishing Packs, extremely popular with the hair jigs that we just came out with. We have like about, I don't know, 14 now different varieties, and they you can get them so inexpensively if you buy the 45 hair jig pack for $49. But that Let's Go Fishing Pack also comes there's just a jig version of it. it has all different color jigs 1 16th 1 32nd um, and then there's also a let's go fishing pack for plastics so it's just so simple to go to the lake and bring all three of those they're small little packets they all work out perfect and you don't have to bring much of anything so to me that's ideal but uh, don't forget the king's tail king's tail is freaking awesome if you're sure if you're a shoreline fisherman not a boat fisherman i think this is an incredible rod um, well, they're all incredible to be quite honest with you, but the King's Tail has been flying off the shelf and it's just an everybody's rod. It's an eight footer, beautifully constructed, absolutely lightweight, awesome core candle. Um, pair that even with the 200 series reel, you're set. But we're gonna fish with it right now. We're gonna put a hair jig on it and see if the bite changes. We're gonna try a different color and see how that affects it. So try to find an answer, you know? All right, guys, you chose the, uh, white and yellow hair jig. I'll show it here in a second, but get myself untangled here. There we go, all right. Tons of fish. They are ready to be caught. And we are going with the king's tail. Man, that is light. Good fish. Good result. There's the bait right there, guys. King's tail. Check it out. Beautiful bait right there. Man. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some more of this black and blue on. Look how it really changes the color of that Chanel. And I'm gonna really soak it in on this one. give it a rip potato chip again there we go black and blue from bait pop this thing's awesome beautiful really changing up the looks of that bait right there getting that great sonar feedback but also bringing that formula straight to the fish doesn't get much better than that We got them. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. There it is. Bait pop. Got me a nice little eater there. Call that a crappie taco here on my home lake. Check them out at baitpop.com, guys. You can't you can't beat it. That black and blue is that's that's awesome. That really changes the look of your bait, and obviously it still intensifies your bait on the sonar, which is really nice. Wow, wow, oh my gosh, another good fish guys, slab, let's let him go, 